Hello everyone, it's Brandy here with Brandy's Cards. I am so excited to be here with you and craft with you today. Um, I have a really fun card for you. Okay, it's called the Lattice Split Card. That's right, the Lattice Split Card. It's really fun, it's really cool, it looks kind of difficult, but it's totally not. I'm gonna show you exactly how to do it. And I guarantee you, you're gonna make, you're gonna wanna make several of them, I promise you. So I am excited to see what kind of cards you create with this fun tutorial. But today I'm gonna use the Marigold Moments stamp set. This is the stamp set by Stampin' Up and it's in our spring catalog. It is absolutely beautiful. Now there's a whole bunch of different stamp sets that could work for this card, but I just picked two or three. I'm gonna give you the idea. I hope to inspire you to get into your craft room and just get creating. That's what makes it so much fun. Now, don't forget, when my video is over, you can go over to brandyscards.com and there will be a tutorial there for you. That's right, brandyscards.com and you will see a post. You're gonna click on blog and the tutorial will be in the blog for you. Now, if for any reason you go there and you don't see that blog post, not to worry. Just go up in the search bar, which you're gonna find in the top right-hand corner and type in the word Marigold Moments or maybe lattice card or lattice split card and this card will come up and you will be good to go now if you are new to my channel i want to say welcome i'm so glad you're here and of course if you're one of my current customers or someone that's been watching me for a while i'm so happy you're here and i hope that um I hope that I bring lots of inspiration to you today and that you get crafting right after this video. Or maybe you start thinking about it. If you're like me, I can like, I can go to bed and dream about cards all night long. I know y'all think I'm crazy, but it's totally true. <laughs> all right, so without further ado, I'm excited. I'm gonna show you the cards that I'm gonna make today. But first off, this is the stamp set that we're gonna use. This is called Marigold Moments. It is absolutely a beautiful set. It is a two-step stamp, meaning you have the, um, the bigger image that's just a solid color, and then you have the second stamp, which adds the color, right? Or I shouldn't say color, but it adds the definition. So it's just a really beautiful set, and then of course it has a coordinating set of dies. And those dies are really nice when you want to die cut these flowers and that stuff out. Okay, so we're gonna set those aside and I'm gonna show you the card. Here we go. So this is called a lattice split card. And yeah, that's right, because this is creating a lattice. Absolutely beautiful, so much fun, so easy to do. And then when you open it up, check out the inside. You have a heart of gold. Oh, I love that. And there's another marigold. And you can see here, I took the marigold stamp set. Um, and I actually went through here and I uh, stamped this piece um, as well. So I'll show you exactly how I did that too. And then when you open it up on the inside, you can see that there are seeds. And so check that out. That's my little surprise. I was super excited to show you that. Now I'm gonna show you exactly how I created this card, how I made this pocket, and maybe if you don't want to send some seeds, um, you know, maybe somebody that uh, you wanna send something special to, you could tuck a gift card in there. So lots of different ideas that you could do. Uh, maybe a tea bag even would fit beautifully in this little, this little pouch, if you will. All right, so without further ado, I am super excited to show you exactly how I created this card. So much fun. Now, before we get started, I am going to show you this. So this here is, this is some of the marigolds. And so what I wanted to do is I wanted to show you what it looks like when you stamp, two-step stamp. So this is that, um, that stamp I told you that's kind of the full color. So I did that in Daffodil Delight. And so some of these, like this one here is a bit darker, and so is this one, and so is this one. So this one, so these are what we call, I did not stamp those off. I inked those up, stamped those down. So those are gonna be that darker, brighter yellow. Now this one here is gonna be, this one is stamped off, right? So this is the second time I've stamped it. I've inked it up, stamped it dark, and I've stamped it a second time, and that's how I get the light. 
So this one is light, this one is light, and so is this one. All right, so that's what we have there. And then you have your second stamp, which is the um, detailed image. So I've taken this detailed image and I have stamped it on top. I've used the exact, um, you know, th not the exact color, I actually changed them for this video just to show you. But this color here is gonna be Cherry Cobbler. So that one here is Cherry Cobbler to kind of give you some, um, you know, just some ideas of how I did that. Cajun Craze, so that one is gonna be over here is Cajun Craze. And then these are kind of more of an orangey color and these are your Calypso Coral. So I stamped the Calypso Coral on top of that. Now, I had a hard time picking my favorite. So, um, you know, I thought Cajun Craze and, and Cherry Cobbler were fairly similar, so I ended up going with the Cherry Cobbler today. So here we go. Let's go ahead and we are gonna pull out a piece of paper and I'm just gonna go ahead and demonstrate quickly how to stamp these, um, these marigolds. And then once I do that, um, we will then move into our lattice. Now, I've, it looks like I forgot my pierce mat, so the next best thing is a Stampin' Up! catalog, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and ink up my photopolymer stamp. This is Daffodil Delight. And you need one of these. And so you could put this on your Stamparatus if you wanted to. I just wanna make sure it's good and inked up. And so I'm gonna just stamp it straight down and straight up. Okay, and you know, I wouldn't worry too much about it being perfect because when you add that second color, it's gonna totally blend it all in. So we're gonna go with Cherry Cobbler and I am gonna ink this one up. I'm actually gonna ink this one up this way where I set the stamp down just so that I can get a little bit more pressure on that and make sure that that's inked up really, really well. And so when you hear demonstrators talking about two-step stamps, that's because this is step number two. And I just, you know, will center this inside of my flower the best that I can, give it a good push, and now I have a beautiful marigold. Isn't that just stunning? Oh my goodness, I absolutely love it so much. Look how beautiful that is, okay? So that's what that looks like. And so you're gonna need one of those, and then you're gonna need a couple of the single marigolds because we're gonna put those inside the card. You're also gonna need some garden green. And the garden green is for your leaves. I have mounted the leaves, and so we're just gonna stamp one of these when, um, you know, sometimes you don't really need the pierce mat. It just kinda depends on what you're stamping. So there's one of the leaves. Of course, if you want it lighter, this would be what we call stamp off. And, um, you know, they have these, um, to add a little bit of detail to those leaves, they have kind of this one, you know, kind of piece. And really what you do is you kind of get in there and you just add that to the inside. Now, you can't see it as well with tone on tone. So you might even grab maybe a mossy meadow or maybe a darker color. You can see it, um, but if you want it to be more prominent, then you might, um, you might just grab a darker green or maybe even use the light one. It's entirely up to you. So when you're all done stamping, you're going to take your Marigold Moments dies and you're gonna die cut these pieces, you see? And so they all die cut out perfectly. So you're gonna die cut those out and I'm gonna show you exactly which pieces you're going to need. So you need this one and then you need a couple of these small ones and a couple of those, this one, and one of the leaves. So those are the pieces that you need, all right? So let's go ahead and start making our lattice. This is, this, this is the fun part. So I have two pieces of basic white cardstock here. I've got my Stampin' Up! trimmer, and um, now don't be afraid of your trimmer and to make this card. It's actually very easy, and of course, if you have any trouble cutting your paper or you have any questions about you know, using your trimmer, um, I do have a video on cutting cardstock. So um, that is a video in my beginner series that you can go back and just kind of get a little refresher, if you will. Um, and so you can have a look at that. If you have any questions, of course, let me know. Um, as so many of you have told me how much you've enjoyed those beginner series videos, and it has made my heart so happy um, because you know I had so much fun creating them, and I have more for you to come yet. So that's pretty cool. 
Um, but you know, it never hurts to sometimes get a refresher. It's like, no, wait a second, which ink goes with what? <laughs> it never hurts to kind of get a refresher. So it's been good for me to go back and have a look as well. Okay, so I have my basic white cardstock here. This is just the full size cardstock. And so what you're gonna do is you're gonna put it in your paper cutter and you are gonna cut it at four and a quarter. So here we go, I'm just gonna line it up and I'm gonna make sure, I'm trying to look to make sure you can see me okay. And I'm gonna close my little arm, bring it down and there we have it. Now what you're gonna do is you're gonna take this piece and you're gonna score it in half. Scoring it in half is gonna be at four and a quarter, okay? So I'm sorry, scoring it in half is gonna be five and a half. It is not four and a quarter, that was short. So five and a half is where you're gonna be. So you're gonna score it just like that. Then if you want to, you can go ahead and prep that score line. That's just gonna kinda give you a guide. And then what you're gonna do is you are gonna cut off three and a quarter. That's right, so three and a quarter is gonna come off of the bottom. So three and a quarter comes off and now you have something that looks like that. Now what you're gonna do is you're gonna leave this in your trimmer and you're gonna cut five of these at a half of an inch. So there's one and here is two. Now you gotta make sure you keep your paper straight. You get cattywopped, you're gonna have cattywopped strips. <laughs> and you're gonna be like, wait a second, why is everything crooked? So just try to keep those as straight as you can. Um, but if it happens, you know, it happens to the best of us. Good thing is, is you can cut another piece of paper at four and a quarter by three and a quarter, and you should be able to try them again. Now, after you cut five of these strips, so here we go, let me just kind of point these out. After you have five of these strips, you're gonna have one strip that's gonna be bigger than the rest. This one is going to be cut in half. And so I'll be very honest with you, I just kind of eye it. Um, and sometimes it works for me, sometimes it doesn't. But that time it looks like it worked quite well. So just kind of eye it, you're gonna cut it in half. These pieces are going to secure your lattice, okay? The next thing you're gonna need to do is you're gonna need to prepare for your seeds. So here's another piece of cardstock, and this is eight and a half by 11 as well. And instead of cutting it long ways, we're gonna cut it at Five, I'm sorry, we're gonna cut it at five and a half, that's correct. So we're gonna cut it right here at five and a half, and then we're gonna score it at four and a quarter. So we're gonna come in here and score it at four and a quarter. Now, of course, all of these sizes and dimensions will be on brandyscards.com for that tutorial. So don't feel like you have to write it all down right now because it will be available for you. So we can go ahead and prep these. I do have my, um, my bone folder here. And um, I'm just gonna kind of give those a good crease. You really kind of want a good crease right here in that, um, you know, in that looks like some, got some little, little things there. Okay, so what you're gonna do now is you're gonna want to have maybe a punch, maybe a stamp. This one does have ink on it, so I need to be very mindful of that, oh my goodness. Um, but you're gonna want some washi tape. I find that having the washi tape is really what makes it a lot easier. So I'm gonna take some washi tape and I'm just gonna add it to the bottom. You don't need much. I mean, we're talking like that much because we just need to hold that down, okay? And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your block and set that down and that's gonna hold your piece. And, oh, looks like it came out. So let's get it back in there, stick it down. And you just need enough washi tape that you can create your lattice. And then I just find it's easier if you have another block down here at the bottom, just to kind of hold that nice and tight, okay? Do you see what I have working there? So that's gonna hold it nice and tight. Um, and you might wanna try to get it just as straight as you can, just so that um, everything kind of works out for you. Now I have my five pieces, and what I like to do is start at the bottom, and I'm going to make the bottom piece flush along the bottom edge, yeah. And then I'm gonna start back up at the top, okay? And up here at the top, it's about, oh, I don't know, maybe an eighth of an inch, maybe a little bit more in between, somewhere in between there. And I'm just gonna start building my lattice. Now the good thing here is, is, that you have washi tape. 
washi tape is a tape that peels off your cardstock and does not ruin your cardstock. So as long as you're careful, you should be able to peel them up and readjust them. So, and as you can see, sometimes the washi tape, as you're putting it down, things can kind of get, get kind of weird. So you just gotta be patient with it and, um, and just kind of stick them down the best that you can. Okay, so I think that's good. Now, another little tidbit here that's good news um, is that when you're putting this down, the good news is, is eventually we're gonna pull the, the tape off the back and if you use some liquid adhesive, when we, when we go to glue these extra pieces down, you can actually kind of wiggle stuff into shape, in, not into shape, but into place, if you will. So let me go ahead and grab my liquid adhesive and so I think that looks pretty good. The idea now is these are gonna hold our lattice together and I'm gonna try to have it maybe a half of an inch from the sides. And so to do that, I'm going to take and just put a little dab of liquid adhesive. Now, not too much, no big globs because you'll be cranky with me if it squirts out the sides. Okay, so no big globs and we're just gonna make our way down and once we get down, then we're gonna take and put our little lattice um, connector here, the, the vertical piece, and that's gonna go up and down. We're gonna add the other one over on this side. Do you see how I did that? And so you're just gonna kinda wiggle things into place. And yes, I know it's longer than the, um, it's longer than the bottom, that's perfectly okay. I know that. And I have my paper snips here to go ahead and trim that but not until I know that it's good and settled and dry. So let's go ahead and remove our blocks very carefully. The next thing we need to do is very carefully flip this over. And I do wanna point out one more thing. By the way, you know, how we lined that up, it's gonna be flush at the bottom. So I thought that was kind of a neat way to keep it nice and flush. Now, when you pull this off, I would just make sure that you're kind of pressing on your strips so that everything kind of comes up nice and neat and that there's no problems and you're happy with your design. So isn't that fun? Oh my gosh, I just think that's the coolest. And you can see since we did such a wee bit of glue, you can actually sort of and you know move things around a little bit and wiggle them if you want them up or down or maybe you know more into place or something. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna snip the bottom, just like that, snip, snip, whoop, there we go. That was kind of a bad snip. Um, look at that, okay, there we go, perfect. So you're gonna snip that off and now you have your lattice. I would definitely let it dry before you jostle it too much, um, but I do have an extra one here that I did earlier. So I'm just gonna set that one aside and let him just kind of dry. Now I do wanna show you, I've, I did this one when I was first practicing and I was a little short. I didn't actually line it up. Um, and so just kind of wanted to show you the difference. So that way you're mindful of that when you are doing your card. Okay, so there we go, super cool. Remember, we did cut and score another card and this one is gonna layer right here inside the, um, the lattice card, okay? So but before we do that, let's go ahead and build our marigold. We have these beautiful flowers to add. And so for this one, you know, you're gonna wanna just kind of add your marigold where you like it. But I think what I wanna do first is stamp my thanks. You can do, you know, you can stamp whatever you would like on here, but the marigold stamp set had a really nice um, thanks inside of it that I thought would work perfect. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and open this up. And I do have a piece of scrap paper. We always talk about, well, should probably practice on a piece of scrap first, right? Before we just jump in there, um, but straight down and straight up and um, we are good to go there. Now we're gonna set that back aside, set that over there and let's go ahead and add our marigold. So when we do that, you're gonna want to add some dimensionals and you're also going to want um, you know, to add your stems. I, I honestly glued them down here towards the bottom. So you're just gonna wanna figure out where you want it placed. If you stamp your sentiment first, then it's gonna give you, you know, it's gonna give you a bit more placement. 
um, if you stamp that first. So let's just see. I'm just kind of getting my, my placement in here. And then I do have an extra little leaf to add right about in there. Okay, so let's go ahead and do this. So I'm looking at it. It looks like right up in here is gonna need, um, I'm probably gonna put a dimensional over here and then down in here is gonna need some glue. Now you can use the mini dimensionals or you could use your regular dimensionals. You just probably have to cut a piece, right? So if you have the bigger dimensionals, don't panic. Um, it's okay, you can just use a um, big mini glue dot, or um, it's not a mini, it's the regular ones. Just kind of cut them to, so that they fit what you need, okay? So here we go. Let's go ahead and add this guy. And um, we're just gonna kind of place that on there and add it where we'd like it. And then this one, let me just make sure I'm in frame here for you. And then this one is gonna, I kind of liked it tucked underneath there, but now that I've added my dimensional, it looks like I'm gonna have to pull it back up. Hang tight. That's okay, because it's not glued down yet. It's not totally adhered yet, so it's gonna work. Um, and so you just kind of have to figure out, you know, where you're gonna put that marigold, and you're gonna add your dimensionals onto your card base here, or to your lattice. And we're just gonna kinda tuck that in there just like this. And of course, once you get it in place, you can certainly add some more dimensionals if you really wanted to. Um, so that is something that you could absolutely do. Okay, so I think that's perfect. Now what I wanna do is I wanna add another dimensional up under here, just for security purposes. And then I have my little leaf, and I think I'm gonna tuck my little leaf right under there. All right, so we are well on our way with this fun card, and oh my gosh, I can't hardly wait to show you the other examples that I have as well. I've had so much fun creating with this stamp set, as well as this, um, you know, this uh, lattice. So cute, so, so cute. Okay, so that's perfect. I think we're good there. So let's go ahead and move to the inside of our card. And to do that, we're gonna need to stamp a piece of pool party. Now you're gonna need some Coastal Cabana ink to stamp your pool party. And I, um, let me just make sure that my stamp is clean. I think that um, I may have misplaced my chamois here. So let me grab some spritzer and just make sure that it's clean, so I'm just gonna spritz it. I have a paper towel here, and I'm just gonna make sure it's good and clean before I stick it into. Now, I don't necessarily recommend paper towel, but I am live, and it is a video, and I don't have it with me. So, next best thing, we'll just have to rinse it afterwards to make sure that you know everything's good. And you can see, I'm just kind of, stamping it down and I'm kind of doing that just to make sure that everything is clean and hopefully there's no fibers left on there. Okay, so you're gonna need a piece of scrap paper, all right? So there's my scrap paper. You might want a pierce mat, it, you know. I would just see, um, you know, what works for you. So we've got Coastal Cabana on Pool Party cardstock and we are just going to make our way around. Ooh, isn't that pretty? Oh, that's so pretty. That makes such a beautiful background. Like, holy cow, it's so pretty. Like, I wanna do that, you know, for like another card too. So pretty. Gosh, I would love if you guys would leave me comments. Let me know where you're from. I would love to hear if you have a green thumb and what flowers you're excited to plant. And to know if you are, if you have this marigold stamp set, um, it's so beautiful, it really is. And you know, in the summer, I, you know, I can keep marigolds alive. I love those, as well as um, pansies. I can do those, but other flowers, hmm, not so much. Um, but those I can handle. Okay, and the ferns, ferns like me too. Yeah, ferns like me too. Okay, so I'm gonna set that aside, and I think we are done with that now. So we're gonna just move on here. I'm gonna bring back in my paper trimmer and I'm gonna show you this, okay? 
So again, sizes and dimensions are gonna be on brandyscards.com, all right, in your free PDF downloadable tutorial. But in the meantime, this is gonna be three and a quarter by eight and a half. So that means that we need to score it at four and a quarter. So we're gonna score this at four and a quarter, all right? So there it is scored, so you can see that. Now here's where I'm going with this because this is important. So here's where I'm going with this. We have our inside piece. So here on the front, that piece is going to be here, right? But then you are going to wrap this around like that. So if you want, you can leave it that way. Certainly, absolutely. And the other thing is, is the reason that I have it that size is because, well, that's the exact size to see it through your lattice, all right? So here we go. So when you open it up, what we're gonna do is we are actually gonna cut this on a diagonal. It's actually very easy. So here's what you're gonna do. If you've already scored this piece, that is awesome. You're gonna take from the scored corner and you're going to put the scored corner into your trimmer you know, guide and then down here at this other corner. All right, and then you're just gonna cut it. Yep, here we go. Hang, hold your breath, right? <laughs> no, it's not too bad. So there we go. Now let me show you how beautiful that will finish. All right, so let's bring back our card. So this is what this is gonna look like. It's gonna wrap and it's gonna wrap around in here like that. And look at that, bam, that's so cool. So, so cool. I love it, love it, love it, love it. Okay, so that is so fun. Um, so here we go. I am gonna add some liquid adhesive here. And, oh, let me get my, let me get my bearings here. Okay, yes, that's right. So you guys are like, okay, what is she doing? Well, you'll see when we get inside here, you know, when I go to glue this down. I am just adding this to the insert. This is for your seeds, okay? Now, if you want, you can use some tape if you want. Um, you can use some mini glue dots as well. Um, but what I ended up doing is I just put, now again, you've got to have a small thin layer. You don't want any squishies, you know, where it squishes out in. Um, but I'm just doing a small thin layer of liquid adhesive. And then I'm going to fold this over just like that and you're gonna to wanna to let that dry. That's what's gonna create your pocket. Yeah, for your seeds. Okay, so let's go ahead and bring our card back in. The next little thing that I wanna share with you is there's a couple different ways you can do this, right? You could glue it here. So this, you know, so this card piece is in the back. When you do that and you close it, I find that it's just short. Um, you know, it doesn't actually come across all the way, and that's because this piece is layered over this base. So that's gonna just kind of shift it over just a little bit. It really doesn't bother me because it all still closes quite nicely. Um, but if it does bother you, then I would glue this piece on top, and that will solve your problem, that it'll all be nice and flush and perfectly even for you. So here we go. Let's go ahead and add this piece to our card base. Oh my gosh, I hope you guys are loving this card. I am having so much fun sharing it with you. Um, if, you don't, um, if you don't have any Stampin' Up! catalogs or you'd like to see our catalogs, make sure you go to brandyscards.com and slash contact and send me an email and let me know you'd love to get some catalogs. Um, and of course, if you already have a demonstrator, make sure you reach out to your demonstrator. Um, but if you don't have one, I'd love to help you and I'd love to earn your business. So just reach out to me and we will get that headed your way. Now you're gonna need um, Bermuda Bay. I have a Bermuda Bay stamp pad here. And then inside the Marigold stamp set is a stamp that says you have a heart of gold. So what I've done is I've, I've mounted that. I'm gonna ink that up really good. And I do like to stamp it once, at least one time before I jump in there. Perfect. It just, I don't know, just for good measure, right? So we're just gonna add it right there, perfect. Now you're gonna wanna clean your stamp. So you're gonna clean your stamp and you're gonna stamp this two more times. And then you're gonna take your paper snips and just kind of come in here and you can just cut out the words that you want to be a different color. 
Now, a little trick. If you have some Stampin' Write markers, well, with those, you can color on your marker, or on your stamps. Yeah, you can totally color on your stamps. So if you have the Stampin' Write markers, you could just go ahead and pull out a Daffodil Delight and a Cherry Cobbler, maybe a Bermuda Bay, and just color on your stamp, stamp it down, and you are good to go. Um, but if you, you know, if you don't, not to worry. You can pull out your stamp pads. Um, you just have to make sure that you clean your stamp in between, okay? So just clean your stamp in between, and you should be able to do this as well. So I'm just gonna go ahead and put a little bit of liquid adhesive here, and then I'm gonna add my heart. Now I'm gonna add my, um, I'm gonna take a Stampin' Dimensional, and I'm gonna add my um, of gold. Now I sometimes, you know, I refrain sometimes from doing too many dimensionals on the inside just because I don't want it too bulky, um, you know, too, too bulky. So just be mindful of that. But I did think that was quite lovely. Now I do have a flower for the inside. So you can decide where you want this flower. But one thing I wanna point out to you is, and I may have actually done that just now, is had it over too far. See, you don't want it to show through the bottom of your, you know, down here. I don't know if you can see that. But if you're not careful, then you can see it through your card. So what I recommend is, you know, making sure that this piece is wide enough so that, and actually this piece, I believe, was three and a half. I think I may have told you three and a quarter, but that's not right. This piece here is three and a quarter. So make sure you go back and grab the tutorial because that will have all of the correct dimensions for you. So we're gonna add this piece right up in here. And then we have our beautiful flower. Gotta kinda push that guy down. And this one is gonna kind of come up in here, just like that. Now again, I may have pushed this over to the um, little bit far, but here you go. Here's one where I was a little bit more mindful and kind of kept it over to the side. Now, you don't have to add a flower here, certainly, um, but if you wanted to, you certainly could. So then we're gonna add our little flower in here and that looks good to go there. Then when you open it up, you've got another flower to layer as well as a Bermuda Bay piece. You've got pool party and then a piece of basic white, okay? And then of course you can add your butterflies as you would like. These butterflies are so pretty. These are the uh, Stampin' Up! Brass, um, brushed brass butterflies. They come in the small and the large sizes. They're absolutely beautiful. They're fun to use. Um, and so I have loved, loved, loved using those. And then you can see your little pocket will work and um, you can close your card and then fold it up. So that is my Marigold card. Now let me show you this. Um, if you would like to have a finished piece of stationery, you can also take a piece of um, basic cardstock as well. And it's a basic pool party. I think it's a six by two and a half. And just stamp it just the same way we did this piece. And then you're going to put glue on your envelope flap lay that across, and then you're gonna trim it from the bottom. Just take your paper snips and trim around the edge, and you'll have a beautiful piece of finished stationery. Okay, so here we go. Are you ready for some more fun cards? So I've got two more super fun cards for you. Now, the first one um, is really fun. It's the Queen Bee stamp set. And I also paired it with the Honey, um, what is it called, Honey Bee? And the Honey Bee is in our, um, is in our annual catalog. So I paired it with both of those. So let me show you what that turned out like. It's so pretty, so pretty. So let me show you the Honey Bee. So there's the Honey Bee and it has the dies, actually Queen Bee and the Honey Bee is in the um, annual catalog. But check out this one. Oh my goodness, it's so pretty. Now I kept it kind of with the neutrals. Do you see the, um, the B has kind of got a shine to it. Well, that's because I embossed it in gold. Um, so I just thought that was super cool. And I liked kind of the subtle colors. I kept it, you know, the greens. Um, you could certainly put some, you know, color into those flowers, but I just did Daffodil Delight. Um, I added a bit of the gold die cut pieces down here as well. Do you see? Super pretty. Then of course, some festive pearls 
When you open it up, um, again, you've got this piece that's going to, um, you know, it's going to hide, um, you know, behind the lattice. And then you've got the flowers. Now, these flowers, I actually lined up with this so that you didn't see them through. Um, through the lattice. And then I've got another bee, added a bit of a little honeycomb in there. I don't know if you can see that. And then when you open it up, yeah, did you see that? This one opens this direction. So I went ahead and did, um, I used the second piece after I did the lattice piece. I used the second piece and glued it in there and built my card up on that. So that is an option for you as well. Okay, so my very last card for you today is from the Thanks a Bunch stamp set. Now, if you're wondering, okay, where in the world can I find the Thanks a Bunch stamp set? Well, right now it's, today is what, March? I'm sorry, today is February 24th. Yes, or 24th. And so right now it's in our celebration catalog. This catalog is only good for another three or four days. So if you really like this stamp set, you must place your order right away so that you can get the stamp set for free. For every $50 you purchase, you can pick a free item out of our celebration catalog. And I will be very honest with you, I love carrots. Um, and I thought the stamp set was super cute and then I started to work with it and now I like love carrots. Like it's such a cute, everything's coming up carrots I think is what it says. So much fun. Um, so here, let me show you this set. And of course, there's some other ideas and inspiration for you here in your celebration catalog. And again, if you don't have a demonstrator and you're interested in our catalogs um, and seeing what we offer, please reach out to me at brandyscards.com contact. Or if you have any questions about today's video, I'd love to answer them for you. Um, so here we go. I'm gonna bring it in and show you. Are you ready? Isn't that just beautiful? Oh, it just makes me happy. The colors are absolutely gorgeous. And um, look at the little sprigs and like just looks so yummy, so springy, so beautiful. Um, if you didn't like carrots, well, after you see this card, I'm sure you're like, okay, I like carrots. But you know, I like to dip my carrots in hummus too. So, okay. So here you go. So this one, I just left it blank. But after I did that, I will show you kind of what my new sort of idea is. Um, but I'd already made this card. So this is actually um, one of our new embossing folders. I'm not sure if you can see that, but it's actually from the um, online exclusive that's going to go live March 1st, 2023. It's a pack of three and it's really a nice texture. Then on the inside, oh, look at that. Everything's coming up carrots. I told you that was in there. And so I did the same sort of pocket, except with this one, I just cut the triangle piece. I just cut the actual piece of cardstock, cut the triangle, and then just glued the sides. Um, and there is some carrots. Looks like spring. So as I thought about this, um, you know, I thought it would be kind of fun maybe instead of putting this piece right here in the center, maybe that would have been really nice right here. So it looks like spring and then when you open it up, everything is coming up carrots could be right there or even right where it is. So there's lots of fun things you can do, so many options, um, but that is just such a fun stamp set. I love it, and like I said, it is a part of our celebration promotion that's actually getting ready to end, um, but if you are one of the lucky ones who've picked this stamp set, I hope that you um, go to brandyscards.com and download, go to my blog and download the tutorial because you too can make some of these beautiful cards, or maybe if you didn't want to do the lattice, you could just make this the card front. Um, it, those carrots are just stunning. So which one is your favorite? I would love to know which one is your favorite. Um, I have a hard time picking. <laughs> I have a hard time choosing which one I like best. Um, they're so much fun to make. And um, I just, I couldn't hardly wait to share this with you. So excited. 
Um, but I hope that you enjoy them. Uh, please let me know if you have any questions. And of course, I would love for you to leave me a comment. Let me know which one you like. Um, tell me that you stopped by and watched my video today. It just makes my heart so happy to know that you are all, you're inspired and that you've stopped by. Um, and of course, if you have any questions, don't forget to reach out to me. I'm happy to answer those. Um, and if you need a catalog, we have our new annual catalog, will be coming soon. So if you are a customer of Brandy's Cards, you will get a complimentary copy. That's right. I send all of my customers who've placed an order within the last 12 months a complimentary copy of the annual catalog. So that will ship mid-April. So stay tuned for that. So more details to come. In the meantime, thank you so much for joining me today. Thank you for being a loyal customer of Brandy's Cards and a friend. We appreciate you so much. And until next time, stay well and happy stampin'. Bye now.